know I would never have missed this opportunity to welcome uh, an evening devoted to Malta. It's a particular honor for me to introduce Malta to, uh, to you and uh, its Baroque culture to you. You know, Baroque is a, a world which uh, means uh, full of surprises, and uh, in a way, and uh, you will have a, a evening full of surprises. And I want to thank particularly Ambassador Mikalev and her team, uh, because uh, they have uh, managed to provide us with a really fantastic uh, evening, starting uh, with a performance by uh, the Manuel Th Teatro, should I say, or theater. <laughs> we have also a piece of music, a piece of Sonata 6, composed in uh, 1768, then, uh, originally for three violin, cello, and harpsichord, and it has been beautifully arranged for four free paro violins and cello, by these four uh, outstanding musicians, Risa Broder, Tina Chance, Elizabeth Field, and Caroline Levy. So, uh, once again, thank you to all of you, and I think this will be a very uh, memorable evening. Thank you, Ambassador. <laughs> receiving her friends on their in bed. If we set up a Baroque festival in a Baroque city, like Valletta, we will revive this music, and this music will be known to the world. It was my prime concern. Rome wasn't built in a day, neither was the Baroque festival, but after the third year, I can say that the, I have ensembles coming from places like Cologne, from Paris, and from Madrid, who wants to play Maltese music, and there is a great, there's a great, there's now a demand for it. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for indulging in my fantasies, which are, you know, and my dreams. And I hope to see you all next January. Thank you. Yeah.